Oh man, he would have to go under cover when I put my time dilation on. Hacks. <laughs> Suck it, man. And welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue on uh, doing the quest for Abernathy this time. So uh, we are... What is that quest about again? It is the Long Tomorrow. He wants us to find a cache of medicine in the Emerald Vale Community Center, which appears to be in a, kind of a rundown uh, part of town here. So let's see. We are... We're now in this really awesome power armor, um, and we upgraded all of our weapons in the last episode, including this um, hunting rifle. Uh, we upgraded all the way to level six, so it should be a good weapon. And we put a gyro sight on it as well, which is supposed to reduce. Oh shit! There's a guy right there. Uh, the weapon spread on it. Um, a marauder hooligan. Okay, let's. Okay. Um, you go over there. Sure. I'll let Parvati do some combat later when once we get her a little better equipped. But right now she's kind of squishy. Okay, here we go. Ho oh, ho! Look at that. To totally took him out. All right, let's get back here. Parvati, get over there, quick. Quickly, quickly. Nice Loving the sniper rifle. Well, hunting rifle. Upgraded to be like a sniper rifle. That's the last of them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. That went really well. Oh, look at that. We got an assault rifle. Um, check this out. Okay. So this does 28 damage and 215 DPS. Our light assault is still better, though, just because we've upgraded and it's got the plasma mod. But <clears throat> that's pretty cool, though. Uh, let's just look at it real quick. What's it look like? Oh, yeah, I like this. This is neat. Okay. Well, um, we'll hang on to it and um, have occasion, I'm sure, uh, to upgrade it at some point. All right, what do you got? Okay, good. Glad to get the heavy ammo off of those guys, for sure. And then we wax the first one right up here. Evicted. So everybody's been evicted from their homes up here, it looks like. Yeah, this whole this whole part of town up here looks pretty forlorn. All right, another assault rifle. Who killed all these guys? I didn't kill all these guys. Huh, that's weird. What's off over that way? Another building. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, we've got... got another Marauder up there? I guess it is. Alright. Parvati? Alright, I'm on the move. Let's see if we can kind of do a repeat of the, what we did before with our sniper gun here. Alright, here we go. Oh, he started moving. Okay, let's wait till he stops moving. Where'd he go? Oh. Ooh, there's another ringleader guy. He might have some more power armor. Okay, yeah, we should probably hit him first. Is she back there? I'm going. All right. Okay, here we go. We're all together. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I love this gun, you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Is she staying put? Marauder Thug. Piecemeal Mining Helm. That's what we already have. However, is it, um... Didn't we kill, like, a... Where's the leader guy that we killed? Oh, he's up here. Okay. Um, didn't we have... Or, what am I, what am I saying? Oh, I want to check the level on this. So this is a level one, and that's a level two. So ours is better, because we upgraded it. Ollie Ollie Toxie Free? What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh, and more power armor. Excellent. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We are going to give that to you, my dear. So you're a little tougher. So, Pav Parvati. Uh, and we'll give you this helmet, too. Might as well. Uh, and we'll give you the power armor. Now, this, do this does have tech skills, and that has tech skills. Level 2, level 1. So we could probably just break this down. Um, and keep, you know, hang on to this for, for tech skills. Alright, there's supposed to be an option somewhere in here where show companion helmet. Yeah, let's turn that off. Uh, did I not turn it off? Show companion helmet. Oh, I, I told it to do the default, duh. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's kind of cute. But that helmet's also ugly as hell, too. <laughs> I'm wearing it, but I don't have to look at me, so... Okay, let's go on up here. Get this weapon out. We got enemies right over there. All right. I still don't know if I, I want her to start fighting yet. Sure. Let's just play it safe, because if she dies, I don't get her back. She's permanent permadeath. We don't want that to happen. Not to our friend Parvati. Okay, so. Uh, let's get this out again. And we got a nice headshot right there. A goon. The goon's going to come after us, but we'll take him out with a shotgun. And then we got a third guy. I don't know what the third guy is. Oh, he's a vandal as well. Okay. All right. Just waiting for these guys to hold hold still here. All right, let's take him out. Here we go. I'm ready for this. Down All right, go. he's down. Oh, maybe he's not down. Okay, let's retreat. Whoa, run! Heading out. They're running back. I might not have actually killed that guy with the first shot. I think I almost killed him. But it looked like he was still around. Those guys don't chase you very far. I wonder too if they if they reset. Or I mean if they heal when they reset. He went down. He totally went down. Got a hooligan there. Got a guy close by here. Sounded like... Oh, there is a guy. He's inside the building, though. Okay. Oh, 
Oh man, he would have to go under cover when I put my time dilation on. Hacks. <laughs> Suck it, man. Is that a different guy? Oh, there's a bunch of guys there. Okay, we gotta get to cover. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh shit, that's Parvati. What the hell are you doing? I told you to stay back. Okay, I wasn't expecting guys to come out that door and, and flank me. That's pretty smart of them. Okay, let's take all this stuff. We roasted his ass. Get some of our ammo back. Light pistol. Another assault rifle. We'll be able to break all those down to parts. Oh, look at that. Level up. That is loud, man. Holy crap. Okay. So that's where we gotta go uh, to do the... the quest. Uh, but let's do this. Let's go into this building first. Glad to get all this heavy ammo. No, it was this one. And just loot anything that's in here, and then we'll level up, and then we'll go do that quest. What do we got here? Skill and perk points available. Oh, cash register, okay. Anything else? You know, it seems to me like that um, there's a lot of food in this game, but there's not a lot of stuff to drink that's not alcoholic, because alcoholic drinks uh, give you a little bit of a debuff. I just want, like, normal water or apple juice or whatever, you know? Take the Adreno, we'll take the heavy armor, or ammo rather. Get all of these? No. Can't open that. We need to sell all those smokes because they, um. Oh, good, we have weapon parts. They give you. A... There we go. Okay, that's stuff to drink. Uh, they give you, um, boss, but then they give you a debuff. Okay. Nope, don't quite have the skill to break through into that either. Alright, let's take a look at our... Let's take a look at our levels. So we have 10 points to spend. Um, really actually enjoying the sniping with the long gun, so we're going to keep pumping stuff into ranged. So let's get that up at least to 20. We'll get the handguns up to 20. Now, um, we want to keep going with our dialogue stuff too, and going with our stealth. We're a little less stealthy because of the armor, so let's put some points into that and some points into this. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, now we have. Um... Oh, we have to do E to apply. You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Oh, nice. So, what this does is this will show us when we're in time dilation where the weak areas are on the enemies. Okay, that's going to come in handy too. Uh, we should probably at some point get some skills going that increases our time dilation or in decreases the cooldown. We'll have to look and see 
what that skill is going to be. But anyway, let's go to perks now. So we got a new perk that we can spin. So slow the world. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was just talking about this. 25% uh, uh, tactical time dilation meter max. Okay, so let's definitely keep that in mind. 25% uh, damage when alone. Now nah, we're probably always going to have a companion with us if no other, for no other reason so they can carry our stuff. Don't really care about walk or sprint speed. I mean, that would be handy, but loss or weapon durability, armor durability loss reduction. Uh, I mean, durability loss reduction. That wouldn't be bad. Companion crit chance, nah. I'm not going to really rely too much on the companion, companions. At least I don't think I will. We'll see. Vendor prices don't care about uh, XP from companion kills. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. I don't think that applies when we're in supernova. Uh, this will increase the increase the recharge rate of tactical time dilation. That gives us more carrying capacity. Additional ammo stock on vendors. And base armor rating. Ooh, that wouldn't be bad either. I think what we're going to do is let's, let's really make use of this time dilation. So we're going to take that one. We'll probably take the other one that increases the... Or decreases the or increases the recharge rate, and we'll probably do this armor one too at some point. Okay, let's do it. Very nice. All right. All right, let's go get this quest going. Emerald Vale Community Center. You know what I'm gonna we're gonna do before we do this? Let's do a save. <laughs> let's do a save. Because who knows what we're gonna run into in this place. At some point we need to think about sleeping too, but I mean if we sleep now and then run all the way back there, which we'd have to do, we'd probably be that much tired again. So I don't, I don't think we're gonna do that. Let's just reload. And start from there. That's a nasty looking critter. All right, let's do this. So we're looking for a drug cache for Abernathy. Holy shit, that just put us right Let there. For me. You'll be quiet. Don't say anything. Uh, there's no freaking cover in here. Uh, all right. I don't like this, man. Uh, what are we going to do? We might have to go for trying to do a silent kill on him. So you stay Check put. It. Don't move. You know what else we should probably do here? Uh, let's swap armor so we're more stealthy. Okay, so we got a guy over there, and we got this guy right in front of us here. Um, I wish we had, like, a silenced weapon or something. So let's just watch his path for a second. So he goes over there, and he kind of bends over for a little bit. We got, um, I don't know what this guy's doing over here. We have to watch out for the guy up above, too, because he could spot us from that way. He seems to stay there for a long time, doesn't he? Whoop. Now, what's he doing? He's just standing up against the wall. I still think our best bet for clobbering him is when he's over there and bent over. Because he stays there for quite some time. Okay. We just have to be careful about... Is that guy... That guy's bent over, too. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we've got uh, a guy in that room and a guy in this room. And we want to make sure that they don't see us. 
So he appears to go that way and kind of do a little bend over thing too. What is this guy doing? Okay, he's looking that direction. What happened to the guy over in this room? Oh, there he is right there. Okay, so... He's probably about ready to stand up because he's been in that position for a while. So he goes over that direction. Okay, waxed him. This is like a museum or something, isn't it? Now, doing, doing this <laughs> reminds me a lot of Fallout 4. Going around in the buildings in that game. Sneaking around and stuff. Okay, let's go eliminate the guy in the other room now. I uh, don't even see where he's at. Oh, he's over there. Okay. You just want to stay up against this wall so the guy up above doesn't see us. Okay, so he's patting back that way. Let's whack him. Here we go. Woo! Nice work. Okay, she kind of makes me a little nervous because she's really loud when she says all that stuff. holographic image thing going on there. Looks like we probably could stand to drink something. So let's uh, take that right there. What's this do? Liquid toxin absorber. Harmful status immunized. Harmful status effect duration 50%, less than 50%. Okay, so if we get some kind of debuff, that'll cut the time in half. Ambidextrin, sniper, critical damage. Oh, okay. Well, pr we should probably save something like that for like a boss fight. Fast ration pill. Okay, so I think we've taken care of all the dudes on the bottom floor here. We got that guy walking around up there. Uh, so it looks like there's a total of four enemies and something else walking around that isn't an enemy, I guess? Oh, is it one of those little rat thingies? I wonder if that thing's hostile. Right, that guy's bent over doing something. So it looks like there might be two guys up here. So he comes to that corner and does something. And this guy is around there. Oh, shit. What's he doing? Okay, he's going that direction. I wish there was a like a you know peek around the corner kind of option. Oop. Okay, here we go. I don't know if this other guy's gonna hear this, but if he does, we'll pop out our shotgun. There we go. Watch out! Don't mess with us. 
We just picked up some kind of a key. Alright, have we alerted anybody else? Alright, what do we get? Uh, probably a quest item. Yeah, first aid room key. Nice, okay. This key card unlocks the first aid room in the Emerald Vale Community Center. That's probably where those drugs are that What's-His-Face wants us to get. Alright, let's call hey, Jeff. Uh, Parvati to us. And we'll just loot up here. I know we got some stuff downstairs to loot too, but let's just hit all of this for the moment. Apple juice, nice. What's that? Dervish mist. Movement speed, melee weapon attack speed, 20%. Last 15 seconds. Whirl till you hurl. <laughs> okay, so we could put that up here. Can we take that out of there? Can we replace it with that? Uh-uh. All right. So I guess when we take that, then it'll, it will apply along with the meds. Interesting. All right. So, uh, pet pills. We'll take those. That terminal doesn't appear to work. Bit cartridge. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go back downstairs and just loot uh, whatever else there is down here to loot. Can't get through. Is that thing moving? Oh. Can't get through to here. Model spaceship. That's probably just junk. Bit cartridges. Spacer's chaw. That door is barred. We already loaded in here, I think, right? Nope. We didn't. Geographic scanner. Light ammo. Those look like a couple of good mods. Let's take a quick peek at those. Um, where are they? Here we go. Geographic Scanner. This is an armor mod. Increases the range at which interactable objects are highlighted. Oh, nice. Okay. Installs an external sensor netting which detects interactable objects at an increased range. That's handy. Um, this is Mag 2 power. The mo this modification superheats the bullets which explode into plasma when fired. Oh, cool. Okay. So we can add the plasma to our sniper rifle if we wanted to. And give it that extra boost. All right, doesn't look like we can get in there through here. That might even be the medical room. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we can. Get all this stuff. Antique saber. That's kind of cool. Armor parts. We still have two enemies around we gotta be careful of. Oh, like that one there, for example. Alright, let's see if we can stealth this guy. Which way is he looking? Oh, he's looking this one. <laughs> well, yeah, we better wait till he pats back over. Parvati, get over there. Don't make any noise. This hammer is pretty badass, but it doesn't really feel like a a stealth kill weapon. We need to get we need to get ourselves a really nice blade or something. Okay, here we go. Nice one. That guy didn't even hear that. Makeshift low pressure suit. He appears to be the only enemy left, so. Well, all right, if he's not going to hear us, we didn't get the sneak attack off on him. That's all right. That wasn't done real well, but we, but it was done. Is that compass actually functional, or is that just junk? 
Dead cartridge. Possible random something something. Oh, it's a it's a, a collectible card. Gotcha. Okay. All right, come on, Parvati. On my way. I think we're uh, probably done with sneaky sneaky, so let's put our power armor back on. And now we're just gonna go in and kick some ass. What's that? Oh, pure water. I'll take that. Nice. We got a vending machine. We can sell stuff to. Parts. Good. Let's go loot this kitchen here. Frozen dinner, salt tuna fillets. We know that that's not really salt tuna, though. Light ammo in the kitchen. Because that's where you keep light ammo, is in the kitchen. Naturally. That goes back outside. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, let's sell our junk, and that'll free up our inventory a little bit here. And get us a little bit of bank. And I think I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell some of the, these these nicotine items, too. Uh, Spacer's Choice Corona. That has a sell value of 125 The Chaw is also 125 and it looks like they both have the same effects. Nicopad, also 125, also the same effect. So we have a stack of four of these if we decided we wanted to use that. So let's sell um, the chaw and the cigarettes and we will keep the Nico, Nicopads. Nicopads, Nicopads, whatever. That's a caffeine drink. That might actually give us hydration, too. I'm not really sure. I think we'll hang on to the rest of this stuff. So this is a, a level 2 armor with tech skills. Makeshift low-pressure suit. Hephaestus. I don't know what that Hephaestus thing even means. Oh, doggone it. Stupid timer. Hate that damn timer. All right, well, we don't need the Spacer's Choice suit, then. Since this is, does the same thing and it's got better armor. So let's get rid of the Spacer's Choice suit. That gives us tech skills for 7 armor and that gives us tech skills for 9 armor. So we don't need to keep these either. I suppose we could break them down though for parts for repairing so maybe we should do that. Alright, what do you got for weapons? We've got a bunch of assault rifles. We don't need them. We don't need those, but I almost would rather break those down uh, for parts than sell them. Um, we are getting kind of full, though. Let's just keep them for now, and we'll see how things go. Okay, moving right along. I don't know how much longer we're going to be here, but the timer didn't go off. Um... This is the first aid room key. Okay, so this is actually our objective right here. Dervish mist, pep pills. Lock picks. Skin tough salve. Harder. Armor rating 10 for 15 seconds. Ooh, nice. That's something we might want to pop before like a boss fight or something. Ollie Ollie talks are free. Uh, okay. Oh, we forgot to look at the term terminal downstairs. Okay, so that's the anthro cylinder that he wants us to pick up. Is there anything else that we're missing before we do that? I don't think so. Okay, let's grab this. And we got it. Okay. 
the long tomorrow. We came through that room. This is the door that was barred down below. Right, okay. So let's grab that stuff. Looks like we just have this one more room to explore and then we'll be done. So, Oh, no, that one's barred too. Looks like you have to get to it through a different route. What would that route be, I wonder? Do you have to go outside? Purifies poisons, toxins, and venoms. Fight what nature inflicts. Good for all that ails you. It's a little bit stuttery out here. Just looking to see what is lootable. Oh my goodness! Holy crap, we just stepped on a landmine. It didn't do super major damage to us though. Wow, okay. It's freaking minefield out here. There's one right there too. Um, was not expecting that. Can we... Can we blow those up? Here, let's take one of these, too. Yeah, my goodness. He doesn't have anything on him at all. I wonder if we can disarm those mines. Those would actually be handy. Here, let's sneak up to this one. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a proximity mine. <laughs> Shit, that one hurt us, too. Or hit us. Weapons, parts, gyrostite, nightingale step. Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, can we get up here? No. I'm just trying to see if there's another way to get into that room from outside. Model spaceship. All right. Um, what's this? Uh, nothing really, I guess. Okay, let's just run back in here real quick. I'd like to see if we can figure out how to get in that other room before we close the episode. And let's also take a quick look and see what this says, too. Hack. Oh, maybe this will open that door for us. Okay, terminal access, please select command. Uh, hack. Encode first aid card. Oh, we've already done that. Logs. History of Emerald Vale. Exhibit synopsis. The history of Emerald Vale, once complete, will display the proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come, decorating the main hall of our noble community center. This elaborate di... Diorama of mem memorabilia, too many damn big words, of our settlement's founding will embody the hardworking spirit of our spacer family. The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be the taxidermatized Manta Queen erected within our main lobby as a sign of civilization, civilization's victory over, victory over nature itself. Okay, so if we didn't if we didn't get the key card, we could have hacked the room from there. Um, can we go in through here though? Oh, yeah, okay. I think this is the way we wanted to go. There's a lot of dead guys in here. It's actually fast, faster to just double tap the button than to hold E down for some of that stuff. Bypass shunt. Okay, cool. We made it into the room. Hey, are you, are you mean? Oh, riot control armor and sawed-off shotgun, okay. Bit cartridge, nice, nice. We'll pick this guy. Clever. First aid room key, riot control helmet, armor parts, bit cartridge. 
thinking cap jet. Yeah, that's a lot of good stuff. Another sawed-off shotgun. Why did they need so many shotguns in an exhibit? I wonder. Okay, let's read this and then we'll wrap up the episode. Um, uh, Terminal Axis. Welcome to Rector Pickett. Messages from L. Rosenberg. Everyone, the keycard encoder in the lobby is backed up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting keycards to anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a keycard from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. Ira. Uh, from L. Trammell. Director Pickett, I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with the Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development of the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Okay. Um, Hunters and Trackers Limited. Hello, Mr. Pickett. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, why do I have a feeling like we're going to have to fight this thing? Uh, please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of the gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all the equipment, damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting, hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Hunters and Trackers Limited. Partner with the Wildlife Eradication Society. Nice. A wholly owned subsidiator. Uh, subsidiary, subsidiary, gosh, of University Defense Logistics. Hunters and Trackers Limited, teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. Nice. Uh, all right. Okay, guys, well, that's it um, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave a comment. All those things do help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode where we're going to go turn this quest in, and then we're going to probably get started on the main quests and also doing the uh, the robot quest for our crazy friend Ludwig Miller. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.